Hello, hello. Welcome to Sleuth Slut. I'm Brenda. I read crime fiction widely and give you my feminist perspective on what I've read. This time I read Moonflower Murders by Anthony Horowitz, published in 2021. It's the second in the Susan Ryland series, so it's the follow-up to Magpie Murders. And I do think that you need to start with Magpie Murders in order to understand what's happening here. So once again, the story is told from Susan's perspective. She's been called back from Crete, where she's been living with her Greek boyfriend, um, in order to investigate the disappearance of a woman who runs a country hotel. And her disappearance might be linked to a murder that happened at the hotel eight years before. There is a possible clue in one of Alan Conway's Atticus Pun novels, which of course Susan edited. So she's been called to find out if there's a clue to both the murder and the disappearance. I really like Susan Ryland as a character. I don't always want to see myself reflected in novels. I read because I want to discover new perspectives, a variety of experiences, but sometimes it is fun to read about a middle-aged woman who is very independent-minded and um, has gotten into a relationship later in life and doesn't have kids. So that's fun for me. I do wonder that there's no mention of menopause, perimenopause, <laughs> because that is a big part of my experience as a 45-year-old woman. As for the other characters in the book, it's not the most diverse cast of characters. Um, there are few gay characters. Some of them are super despicable, others not. And there are a couple of like offhand comments about the Mediterranean character, which I found funny because it's the kind of thing that you would read in a Victorian novel like Wilkie Collins. So overall, great for a middle-aged white woman to see herself reflected. Otherwise, not so much. This, of course, is a murder mystery, so there are a couple murders, but we don't get a lot of the graphic details of those murders, so it's perfectly fine. The mood is fairly light, like it's a fun whodunit. Horowitz is just a genius at plot. Once again, there's a book within a book in this one, so we've got the Atticus pun takes the case, which is a complete, from start to finish, uh, golden age uh, murder mystery style book within this more uh, modern mystery and every element comes together except for one thing but it's a minor detail but it was just bugging me and maybe I need to look into the NHS and um, this particular disease that one character dies of which I think that in 2009 there would have been a treatment for that anyways <laughs> minor issue everything really comes together it's beautifully plotted, like I am in awe. Five stars. Uh, if you like the Magpie Murders, definitely read this book. I hope this review was helpful for you. Please let me know if you enjoy the book within a book trope and uh, share and like this video, subscribe to my channel and join me every second Wednesday for more Sleuth Slut. Merci, au revoir.